Oh man, any tips or for me glitches something? Uh, it for high level enemies. If there is mountains nearby, you definitely want to use the mountains for advantage by knocking them off the mountain, uh, insta killing them. Uh, once you get the this ability here, um. That one? Oh, this one. This one, Rush and Bash. Uh, which does a, a, a really good amount of damage. A high level amount of damage to the enemies when you push them up against a wall. And once you get it to level 2, it does more damage. I would definitely use that to your advantage. Especially like spearing bosses off of mountains or high tops. Trying to end, end very effective that's pretty much how i got past a lot of these high level bosses but uh if you're in it for the if this is like your only game you're going to be playing for months months and months uh just grind the game is full of like 60 percent fillers so there's plenty of content to grind here and upgrade your character me i'm just i just kind of want to see the story and be done with the game you know yeah. i want to see the alliance through man. all that uh, But yeah, uh, it's it's all right, man. Compared to the previous two one Assassin's Creed game Origins and uh, uh, this is like third place. I would get Origins number one spot. Oh, uh, I see number two. And this one, number two. the the story I felt in in Bayek's story in Origins was a lot more grossing. A lot of the characters are really good, like uh, side characters and side mission stuff. And Odyssey is good. And this one, the story is pretty good, but it's a lot of filler just to get to completion status for a lot of these. A lot of grinding, upgrading your character, farming for materials. If you like MMOs, you might like this. Uh, apparently, I can't do that one. Oh, that one's low. I could probably do this one. It's a chill bit. Let's travel to Shirepshire. He has into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Chilbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Chilbert can make this work, Four, we will six, gain a valuable eight, alliance. Ten, oh, I think I think about sixteen more hours. I might be able to beat. I think. Uh, factor in each chapter. I will make my like, way to Shropshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the Effen Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed. Looking at this guide, I'm I'm thinking I probably got 16 hours worth of content. I factor in like each chapter or like uh, I've been able to complete like an hour and a half, two hours, right? Sometimes even three hours. Um might, ooh, might be able to Upgrade my camp a little bit. I think I got some materials. Actually. I think I made some steady progress. Huh? Stop. I can upgrade anything. I thought there was like certain tiers to need something. Decorate decorative elements. Cozy fire pit. Yeah, let's put the cozy fire pit. 
have everybody unwind, you know? So that everybody's not nearly as stressed as I am. I got a bunch of materials, but I can't see anything to upgrade. Ritual tree. Yeah. Ah, right, here we go. All right, the brewer is where Tekla creates the finest ale in the land. Yeah, everybody needs to unwind. Here we go. Here we go. That took a lot of materials, man. That was expensive. That was very expensive. Okay. Alright. Ow. Oh, stop slouching. Can't wait and take it. Cheer. Ugh. Focus, camera. Focus. This way? Alright. <laughs> Car. Alright, it's level 130 difficulty. We just did a 160, right? So this can't be nearly as bad, right? <laughs> it can't. It, it just can't be. Be able to do this, no problem. Roach. Oh, that's the lighting. Inside or we've had nothing for days. Nettle and turnip. It's all I could find. Smells good though. Yeah. Right. There you go. Come yeah. raise a cup and boy. lose some silver. Say thanks, Pertwick. Thank you. Man. Come on, boy. Oh. Oh. It's so dark. I can't see. Not half bad, boy. Ivar. Let me fierce, ah. dirty. Strike at my boss. Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shurupshire Dude. in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Daelov is standing in. 
Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Gilbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is the king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word then. Your blade oh stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. Oh we both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church. Probably. Our guests await. The church. Head to the church. To the church we go. The Book of Dragons. What? It's not far. Just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserker has plowed through yeah, their me and my and horse are magic. Brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. Did they not all get away like just hit that dog? Keep the peace. It What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. He parted. This road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Wow, that was far. I mean, we could have just walk there, but... Yeah. <laughs> my boy, would you please do something? Our Bishop Dale and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they are all so hard and cold. Great Yet is. within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dale and myself. Oh, you farted in there. No, I did not fart. You farted. Yeah. Oh, say, say about that. Who whiffed the first crop? Yes, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav. We are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cows. Oh, man. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. Uh -huh. And I mean to gift you a gas, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Oh. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Jailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. 
I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. Am I? So I need a bribe. Oh, excellent. Politics. <laughs> ah, this is how it gets to sell. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older than yet. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are wasting time! Ivor! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, would that quell your bitterness while we seek peace? Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I will think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me. <laughs> now you dangle silver before me. You are Guriat, are you not? Brother to King Rotary. So I am. And a bruised fawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. But I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock a rotary from his throne. Withdraw all Britain soldiers from Shropshire and never again threaten this border. If you speak true, I would make that bargain gladly. I will see about the silver. Oh, now you dangle silver oh, before no. me. Are you so frightened of the Britons that you oh, no, fight your battles with wealth? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Blood is thicker than talk, water. Talk, I don't know, talk, bro. Talk. I don't know. Do it's hard to trust him. Uh, however, he is yet young and untested. I ask that you, good bishop, stand a elderman and exercise all intendant powers until such time as my boy grows into himself. At which point, you shall return to your god ordered ordained duties. Oh, King of Mots. That's it. That's it. I'll pay this guy to stop playing. There we go. Lady, let us get past the anger and find our way to an agreement. What is your husband's greatest concern? The royal treasury has been depleted by the war. This brings immense strain to Rotary and his every decision. If I could provide a boon of silver, would that guide your husband away from war? A replenished treasury would certainly help my husband come to peace. It seems if like such a boon comes. I will consider your words. Seems like a good option, yeah. We should settle this with blood, not Dude, British that or, or shut Ivar up. King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. No, oh, enough mm. of this nonsense. Oh, I don't know, man. I think I so I don't know if the wife is actually going to utilize the silver in a good way because the husband really doesn't care about the money. So it might be it might be shut Ivar up. I think it's shut Ivar up because Ivar needs to Wait, shut up. He's the loudest one in here. Please just shut your mouth. Here. I'm gonna give him the silver. Ivar, back again, eh? Brought any treasure with you? I will see that it is well The brother, spent. all he cares about is finding his brother. So if, I got a feeling I shut Ivar up with the money and then I help the brother get his brother back. 
and then bada bing bada boom everybody's happy you know it, the, the the husband does not care about money at all he doesn't care he just wants his brother back so giving the money to the wife is pretty much useless it renders the whole his whole ease of happiness no so, uh, i mean it, it, shut eyes. ivar up here's the silver do with it what you will but don't upset this chance of peace i did not know you were so foolish with coin Silver. Good. So we'll see what I happens. That's why I say. I to death with how heavy a bag I had. Eivor, my friend. Let's see if that works. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eivor is increasingly agitated. I gave the silver to Eivor for his assurance that he will stay calm. I have yet to see Eivor look calm. <laughs> Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Eivor, combat no. now. Boneless Ivar. And it, and it didn't work. Toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother. Does your death. No, he ended up still being a big, fat mouth son of a bitch. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. It was his it was, it was double edged sword. I didn't know if he was going to either shut the hell up or if he was going to just spew a whole bunch of nonsense. So I'm gonna give the money to the wife. Hopefully that like eases row three off a little bit. I, I I hope so. God man, I I've already I and because he kept talking all loud, I I kind of figured that the game was hinting like maybe give the money to Ivar, but that was not the case. So I'm gonna go ahead reload that save. Uh. Annual save. There we go. And give the money to the wife. Hopefully that eases the stress of their their uh whatever kingdom move. Then I help Rosary find his brother. I, I got a feeling that's where this is going. Enough of this nonsense. It's a fucking big baby, man. What's all that about? Dear lady. The treasure you spoke of would help bring us to peace. Lady Unhadad. I don't know about the other brother what you can trying to dethrone his brother. I mean. The kingdom of Gwynedd thanks you. I have spoken with everyone who matters. I should report what I know to Bishop Deola. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Eva is increasingly agitated. Lady Young Harrod will use the silver to bolster the royal treasury. That will reassure and calm Rodri. Ah, a wise woman indeed. For real. Rodri, I see you mocking me. Here we I go. challenge you. Single Eva, no. now. Yeah, he does it regardless. Boneless, All right. Eva. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me. A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get him to safety! Go! Quickly! Kill the boneless one! Paint this chapel with his blood! Just get oh, man, you fucking moron. Eva, what have you done? I don't know, was that the same outcome that I had when uh when I gave him the money? Did he do the same thing? Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Did he do the same thing? Winding the stream. I think I might have stopped it. When he, uh... Started spewing a whole bunch of... Yes. Oh yeah, I think I, I quit after that. I don't know. 
And if I would have gave the money to the brother, would that have just been money I pissed away? <laughs> like, for real. Oh well. Stupid me. Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah, a good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chelbert. You watch my back, and I will pull the knives from yours. <coughs> Dear Lord, stay here where it's safest. <laughs> oh my God! Help me with this fucking door! Oh man, hold on, I gotta get, I gotta resupply my food thanks to this budget. Oh my! Ah! Oh. Oh, I kind of prefer combat anyway, so let's do it. Let's have some fun. Man. This is more my speed anyways. Big hands. Ah, oh, fuck. I fat fingered it, man. 
Oh my god. Did they spawn more dudes? Did they just spawn more freaking dudes, man? Okay. Whew. All right. All right, got this. Okay, I got this. Give on here. Shit, come on, man. Why is my ability not working? I'm try to do the multi arrow shot. Clenching of the ammo. Fuck, that sucks that they still hit you. They still hit you, even... Fuck! They just keep spawning, man. Oh my god, it's because I had to move to a specific location. I'm fucking dead. Are you telling me that I was supposed to trigger a specific event? Are you joking right now?
Fuck my life. Fuck, man, dude, like, how long, is this shit scripted? What, what are we doing? Why is, why is this taking so long, man? Like, come on, let's move this along. Damn, man. Are they just keep spawning in? Do I have to, again, move to another position to trigger another voice line? Like, what are we doing? What exactly are we doing, man? Like, please, I, I just want to progress. I got one guy just standing there with a thumb up his ass. I should be dead. Fucking A, bro. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I think I, I, think I just gotta run, right? Do I just run? Oh, do I run? What do I do, man? Rotary's fled. It's war. Nice. Shit. Stupid ass shit. Possibly hit him. Damn. Fucking A, bro. How long do we have to do this for? 
How long do we have to do this for, man? Come on. Come on, bruh. Pick up the damn item. There we go. I was getting very confused. I was like, are they just going to keep spawning in? Do I have to trigger another voice line, another dialogue? I, uh, it was like, it felt like there was no end in sight. Every time more enemies spawned in, I was just like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> they, they would just spawn out of thin air. I, that, that was like really pissing me off. I don't know if it's the bow I'm using, man. But but I gotta switch that because my ability will not freaking work. Eh. It says fine light bow, but with this the speed is higher too i want to use my left bumper square hold kill the danes fire there we go i love that ability man it's one of my favorites on the outside Oh shoot, that guy just came out of the water. No, why did my, uh, dude, that's such bullshit, dude. I was in the middle of setting my ability up and it just freaking said no. Have a nice day. I try to rear and he tried to go up my rear. He tried to go so hard into my rear end. Yo, why did that guy not die? Hello? Oh my god. Oh my God. 
Get back in there, man. No arrows, brah. Come on. Fight him. Fuck. Yo, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Got special abilities and shit. good that was good stuff right there i enjoyed that yeah. just straight up beat him with the sword that was beautiful my god man oh his ass with the sword man that was a freaking task was there any way to avoid that I'm who said you can get on my horse. You're the one who caused all of this drama. Rodri's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rodri is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God. More death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost. Down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Westbury then, once I've done some damage. Until then. One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks. Oh man, that was exhausting. <laughs> hey, but I get plus two more skill points. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo! A whole two points. Oh yeah, bro. We're gonna get so powerful. Watch this. <gasps> oh! Oh. I guess I had some additional skill points. Uh <laughs> Oh. Hey, back step. Uh, not nearly as cool. Why 
101. Oh my god. Let's go.